welcome to Season 1, Episode 14 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown once again of the Top 50 Matches of 2020 with the match number 37 on our list, which is the match between Mayu Iwatani and Kumi Aroha from the Stardom The Way To Major League show held on February the 8th. Um, now, this match was initially supposed to be the dream match between Mayu and Sari, who I believe was making her stardom debut. Unfortunately, Sari fell, uh, fell ill and was replaced by uh, Takumi Aroha, who is primarily competitor in Marvelous, uh, Wave, Diana, CD Linning, and a bunch of other Joshi promotions. Um, so she came into this match. There wasn't a lot of hype. This was a, a last-minute replacement, uh, but she came in making her stardom debut um, with this match. Uh, it started innocently enough as just kind of an exhibition-y match, you know, um, between these two women. Um, but very quickly, it uh, flipped a switch. Aroha hit a, you know, brutal rolling soul butt kick to the midsection, and from there, she completely took over and became incredibly, incredibly vicious, picking apart uh, Mayu's, you know, arm, um, just stiff shots all around, um, just being, you know, arrogant uh, toward the crowd that, you know, is watching their, uh, you know, their faithful stardom champion uh, get completely decimated by an outsider. Uh, she mugs to the camera. Uh, when Mayu tries to, to fight back, she laughs at her and smiles. And just all of a sudden comes across as this completely menacing outsider heel uh, that's using her size and her strength um, and her hard-hitting ability, you know, to dominate uh, the the small, plucky, you know, undersized uh, Iwatani. Uh, there was a really cool story um, that I didn't know too much about uh, leading up to this match, but I, I did a little bit of research, um, you know, when I, I kind of saw it as an overall theme throughout. So both of these women had some training under Shigusa Nagayo, who is a, a Joshi legend. Um, Aroha primarily trained under her for many years. Um, and uh, there was a move that uh, she would do called the running three, which is basically like a running crucifix powerbomb. Um, so she taught that move to Aroha after several years of training. Uh, she also taught that move to Iwatani with out those several years of training. So there was a little bit of a jealousy that I guess built up here on social media prior to the match uh, with Iroha, you know, taking exception to, um, you know, this move that was passed down to her that she had to train and work for, just kind of being gifted to Iwatani. Um, and, and that uh, move in general plays a, a pivotal role in this match is uh, both women go for it multiple times um, and it leads directly into the finish where Iroha hits it. Uh, this was an incredibly gutsy match for Stardom to book. I, I don't know how the initial match with Sari would have went down, uh, but here they took Iroha, who was coming in a little bit cold, immediately established her as a monster force um, by, I'll say, sacrificing their biggest star to get her over. Um, now, this worked, though, because Iwatani didn't lose anything from this loss. It made Iroha look like a credible, credible force, and it very smartly set up a rematch for the championship later in the fall. So again, you've used one match that maybe didn't come from the greatest circumstances, but you've now built it up into another match that people are gonna wanna see. This is how you bring in an outsider. This is how you immediately establish someone as a credible threat. This match was hard hitting, it was compelling, it had the amazing, you know, Vader Sting style, you know, an underdog story with, you know, the, the plucky baby face that everybody loves trying to overcome the, the monster heel. Um, and it worked astonishingly well. Um, this match can be watched on Stardom World um, and it is well worth your time. Uh, that's all the time that we have for today, though, on Pro Wrestling's Top 50. Uh, please, if you haven't already, subscribe on YouTube, like and comment on the video. Follow on, on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling50. And we'll see you again tomorrow as we continue to count down to Pro Wrestling's Top 50.